What's going on? What's going on? So we gonna go ahead and touch the uh, Quando Rondo a little bit, get a little more information on who this man is, where he's from. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the video in of the the tragic shooting of his friend, and then we are gonna go ahead and jump into the video. But we gonna go ahead and get into a couple of news clippings, man, uh, of that uh, incident, that on alive and of his cousin, which is a sad case. But I'm gonna try to bring it back where kind of where all started again. We gonna go and touch on it. So here we go, y'all. Shots fired, a fight taken to the streets, and this chaotic scene, the ending of a shooting that started in Los Angeles, California. Sheriff's deputies pulling out a man who had been shot in an SUV. No! Savannah rapper Quando Rondo, a passenger in that car, frantic at the site. It all started at this mobile gas station at 5.30 Friday evening. LAPD says witnesses heard multiple gunshots, then watched a couple cars zoom off. Three people in one car shot at this black Cadillac Escalade. It's unclear if those inside shot back. Can I get, can I get space, please? It ended at Santa Monica Boulevard. Deputies found it peppered with bullet holes and a shattered window. One man inside, a member of Ronto's entourage, had been shot. A 23-year-old was taken to the hospital where he died. A scene left with remnants of the fight, shoes left in the street, doors flung open. The suspects still on the run. We still don't know what spurred it all, but LAPD says it started at a gas pump. The victim vehicle, uh, they pulled up, they were pumping gas. And it looks like they probably finished pumping gas and the suspects uh, approached from the alley, got out of the car and started shooting at those victims. Investigators are still trying to piece together details, but they're looking for a white four-door sedan with suspects wearing dark clothing. Police helicopters overhead, so we knew something was up. People in the neighborhood shocked by the news. Disappointed. There have been a lot of a lot of incidents in the past in the past couple of years. It does seem that, that things have been happening more often on, on Melrose, you know, between Fairfax and Melrose and around here. According to TMZ, Rondo was not injured. Rondo Rondo, the Atlanta-based performer, shared this picture on Instagram today. According to the LAPD, the victim was ambushed by three men while getting gas on Friday. Video from the scene appears to show Quando Rondo distraught while first responders moved the body. So far, no arrest. Fuck that, come on, hey, right now. Hey, T.O. 63rd. That's how we coming. I'm coming up. You know, we on 64th. We got most of this bitch. Hey, we on 64th with this shit. <laughs> I don't get your, your man. Your teeth shining like a motherfucker on this bitch. Hold on, get your teeth in that bitch. Damn. Oh. Steal some shit from me. Six, 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 six. Y'all stealing. Stealing names, nigga. Oh. Steal some shit. I'm saying though, they got sixty third nigga some dirty ass niggas, man. What y'all niggas talking about? I'm talking about. Again, again, welcome, man. This is your favorite YouTuber, man, Deputy Fields, man. I appreciate all the new support. I appreciate everybody. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. Y'all support me, man. Let's get this video up to at least about 10,000 views and at least about 200 likes. So let's jump in, man. So I'm, we're going to talk about Savannah, Georgia. So if y'all ain't never been to Georgia, Savannah is a, is a, a smaller Atlanta very small country town and this is for where your where your boy rondo quando a uh, little tin little pad i mean it goes down in savannah don't let don't let nobody tell you that savannah ain't got no gangsters they definitely do i've been to savannah man but we're gonna jump into the quando rondo so what y'all don't know man uh, uh quando rondo man was possibly gonna sign with a lot of different other people besides and be a young boy i mean this man was hot coming out of coming out of uh savannah his lyrics, I mean, he's got a unique sound to him. But the best fit is probably with NBA uh, Young Boy. But I played the video of him and King Von. And it's sad because at one point, all these guys were cool. They were, you know, they were cool. But everybody has alternative motives. And I think King Von played that knowing that when he made that remark in the vehicle and said, NBA Young Boy ain't about that life. And then now you on the video shooting with Quan, shooting this video with Quando Rondo talking about 63rd and all that. Um, I, I think that was a play, but I wanted to put the video of the club incident of the on the live and the King Von for some reason they're not allowing me to download the video, but y'all can check it out. And I always said that King Von initiated that, but I felt like he did it the right way. King Von could have, you know put the guns on them prior, you know, Chicago. They like to slide a lot. King Von has questionably a lot amount of murders that he committed in Chicago, so, but he did the man thing. He wanted to go put the paws on Quando Rondo. Uh, they say he was, uh, Quando Rondo was getting jumped. I, I don't believe it. In the video, you can tell it was just King Von putting the paws on him. 
But little Tim, as a good friend, as a brother, he defended him, which anybody should do. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to defend um, little Tim's action, King Von's action. Um, I, I just don't feel like I know too much about what actually happened, which is sad. And then you got. What's his name? Six nine man. Six nine. The man that told on everybody, but I, I I can't even get into that video. But man, you got six nine jumping on the bandwagon at all costs. So I mean a lot of people feel this beef. We feel this beef. Social media. Everybody saying slide and all that, man. Y'all don't understand that when you take somebody's life, you gotta live with that. Y'all are fans. We are fans. These young men had have has millions of dollars, got money, trying to support their own families, their their boys, and all that. And you want these young men to crash out. I don't know if it's due to envy or hate, but this is what this beef stemmed over: envy and hate, and possibly a woman. A lot of people are saying that this has to do with a woman that Quando Rana was, uh, excuse me, uh, NBA young boy was messing with, and then King Vaughn started messing with her, so they had to pick size. So that's how I, I feel how Quando Rana got himself in, in, in the situation because he's riding behind the person who signed him, the person who 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 gave him that chance, NBA young boy, and it sucks. It's hurtful because not only is King Vaughn gone, you know Quando Rondo man ain't the same. He ain't the same. NBA young boy locked up. This beef was stupid. It stands for something stupid. You know, if you look at some of the videos, when you start talking about some of these areas in, in Georgia, they, they call them weak. It ain't Chicago, where Chicago's big. It's a bigger city. Savannah's, you know, it's not that big. And I'm also going to try to, you know, I'm going to put in, of course, my, uh, my ride around in Savannah and let y'all see some of the areas and stuff where I'm doing this video that it's not a place to be played with at all. I'm gonna go ahead and read a little news clip, man. And it's, it's a sad here, but man, Savannah, Georgia, blocks from where tourists stroll along the cobblestone riverfront in this racially divided city. That trail Gilliard made her way down the dark, ruptured sidewalks of Yakumcraw Village looking for a missing 15-year-old daughter. Like most other people living in one of the nation's oldest public housing projects, Gilliard endured the boarded up buildings and motor field apartments because it was the only place she could afford. Without working streetlights in parts of the city, Gilliard relied on the crescent moon's glow to search for her daughter, Desiree, in May of 2022. She passed yards dotted with clotheslines and power lines and a broken down playground littered with juice bottles and wrist solo cups. She said, I happened to look down and I knew it was her by her feet, by the shoes she had on gear, said she was barely hanging on and she was covered in blood. The year before Desiree died, President Joe Biden called for the federal government to spend tens of billions of dollars to fix dilapidated public housing that he said posed critical life safety concerns. The repairs Biden said would mostly help people of color, single mothers like Gilliard who work in the low income jobs and people who with disabilities. So Savannah is not a place that I would advise anybody to move to. Like they say, this city is racially divided. It's in Georgia. I ain't got to say too much about Georgia. If you don't live in Atlanta, anything outside of Atlanta, it's horrible. It's horrible. And this is what these young men grow up, grow up in. And so what I'm telling you, this backstory is to let you know that Quando Rondo didn't grow up in one of these nice homes. And people always try to say Chicago is hard. Chicago is a, the rough, a rough city, which it is, you know, but you got to give credit to these other cities. You got gangsters everywhere. And Crono Rondo ain't no punk. Just because he smiles a lot, just because these boys seem like they happy, don't mean they some a pushover. And it sucks for, for Crono Rondo because he got in, into a beef that technically didn't have nothing to do with him, but he was riding with somebody he was with, NBA young boy. And so automatically they put that puts him in. And it's sad, I, I will go into Little Tim, but Little Tim, that's a man you want to have around your side. He had it, he had his brother's back. Regardless if, if King Vaughn was using a gunplay instead of his fist, you know, at that point, probably in his mind, he felt that they were jumping him. You got to look at it. King Von knew that Quando Rana was going to be at that spot, that hookah lounge in Atlanta. 
I've been to that hookah lounge way back in, in like 2007, 2000, 2008. I've been there. It's a, it's a hangout spot. But he knew what exactly he was going to do. He sent his, his manager and a couple other people one way, and then he brought his closest friends with him to the hookah lounge to sit in the vehicle. And once he spotted Quando Rondo, he got out and, and put his paws on him. But it didn't end well. This is the self-destruction, man. And you know, when I tell these, when I tell these things, these make these videos, when these young men have to live up to this persona. I'm not gonna say King Von wasn't like that. He was, from what they say. I don't know. I've never seen it personally or firsthand, but some people have. But it's nothing to glorify though. Y'all glorify these young men on the internet like these are gods and all that. Y'all wanna be like him. You got suburban kids acting like him who don't go through any type of uh, poverty like most of us do we try to get out of the stuff and these young suburban kids want to get into it i want to really deep dive more into the quando rondo man his upbringing i didn't bring his gang affiliation up because you know i, I lived in california for 10 years i kind of grew up in california san diego to be exact and i was raised around the West Coast 30s, Crips. I was initiated in the West Coast 30s, Crips. And so I know things have changed now because back then we weren't on the rolling car. And if y'all understand what that means, we weren't rolling. We was just our own thing, West Coast 30s. Of course, our roots come from LA, but we were doing our own thing. So I know about the gang life. I know, I know a little bit more about politics than most of you guys, because I, I was in it at one time. No matter what state you in, if you are out here claiming a game, and it sucks for him because if you go look at that Big U interview, he said, man, once the heat was on with Lil Dirk, that's when he started, you know, reaching out to him and stuff like that. I felt like Big U was trying to extort the young man. And then you had Brick Baby, and I want to do a whole video on Brick Baby because this dude here, <laughs> this dude here, this dude has made some questionable remarks about his his sexuality um you know when um these what well, flame dw flame made that uh derogatory mark asking for a cigarette i might gonna say the what he asked for but you know he didn't stand on business a lot of times he ain't stand on business and he and he definitely was self snitching but i don't believe he's the reason that you know little dirt got arrested i think it was just a combination of things that got little dirt arrested um, I've touched in a couple of videos previously about that. Go check them out. But I definitely wanted to just start off, give you guys a little um, preview because I'm going to start touching like King Von, Quando Rondo, Lil Tim. Um, I've already been, already been speaking on Lil Dirt. Um, I'm just going to go like the whole shebang bang, if I want to say it like that, of people. You know, a lot of people are yelling free Dirt. Well, I mean, if you didn't do nothing wrong, then he should be free. But if he did do something wrong, then, you know, he needs to sit down. And that's just reality. Again, when the feds come get you, they got a 99% uh, or 96% conviction rate. And it's not, a, you know, they don't have to really go to trial. A lot of these guys plea out. And that's just what it is. So I will be uh, touching more on the Quando Rondo um, situation. You know how this young man is, is probably possibly changed his life around. He, he he turned. I mean, he made a a life changing decision by uh, going Muslim, and so hopefully, you know, he's learning something in the Quran. I mean, he, he's he's listening. He's trying to, you know, fix his life because a lot of these young men are traumatized. They got PTSD, and again, us as people looking in from the outside. We all have our own opinion, our own stuff. And then, you know, we're, we antagonize, excuse me, antagonize a lot of this stuff. Again, guys and girls, this is my own, own opinion. I'm not saying any of this stuff is facts. I'm not saying, you know, anything. Uh, these are true events. As an independent journalist, I'm just giving you my own opinion. So don't get mad. Don't leave a negative comment. Positivity, y'all, especially as black people. We got to start being positive towards each other. Support us. Y'all support Vlad TV, No Jumper. I, I, I like them. They're cool. But, you know, support us. 
I appreciate you guys and I love y'all. Please be careful. I'll see y'all in the next video. It probably be coming out in two days. I'm, I'm trying to put a video out at least at least four videos a week. Um, you know, I don't want to really really want to uh, overload you guys and girls, but you know, I, I like doing this. So make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get this video up at least to at least to thirty thousand views. Ashley, come on YouTube. Put my stuff in the algorithm. So I'll see y'all in the next video. I love y'all. Be careful. Enjoy y'all family. Happy Veterans Day to some of y'all. Um, and be safe out there. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. And I love y'all. I'm out.